Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today uh, we are going to learn uh, how to uh, how to track a version from App Store of uh, Google Play Store. Uh, uh, many uh, many uh, company who owns the app uh, wants uh, want that their apps to be updated on the user uh, user's mobile. So there is a functionality uh, to fetch the version from the apple store and the and a match with the uh, current version that is installed in the mobile app if uh, uh, it is not uh, updated then it will ask you to update okay so uh, let's uh, begin with uh, the video before starting the video uh, 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 you should know that this is this is my blog where all the youtube channel all youtube video is uh tutorial is available here uh you can go to the get start and you will get a platform jammed in my or flutter so uh, uh go to the, my blog and you will uh, uh you you will explore many things here okay or as you can also go to my uh, menu options so uh, please follow my blog and YouTube channel and please subscribe my channel. So let's begin. I will show you first the uh, example. Uh, sorry, first demo. Uh, so I have created this uh, demo uh, about if uh, uh, version is updated, then it will. Test so it take. Uh, so it. So it will throw a. Uh, uh, message box it will show message box if you want to update or not so it will go through the okay so this is uh, any random app i have picked up uh, the i have not uh, 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 i don't own this app i have just uh, uh, pick up any uh, random app to show the uh, example so this is uh, uh, how you how you will go first of all uh, go to play store you don't have to uh, you don't have to install uh, you don't have to uh, publish your app to test this uh, if uh, test this uh, code uh, if you only want to learn or if you want to implement uh, your uh, own app then i will show you a way so go to play store okay pick up any app any app for example this is app uh, or any uh, or a facebook app so you will get this name id is equal to, so this is a package name and in place apps apple store apple store this is a id okay this is a id and this is a app name okay so uh, now uh, now what you have to do uh, we will go through the app uh, uh, go through the code so uh, for Android you have to write code in app dot uh, XML okay so uh, first of all uh, you have to uh, you have to uh, this is my this is my uh, it will work in Xamarin also and my also okay so I tested in both so it is working perfectly so this is a uh, um, android manifest you have to add uh, this uh, this package name should be same okay version and version name okay so you have to match this version okay so for this you have to install nugget uh, You have to uh, install this nugget uh, in in my or in a Xamarin. So uh, install the following a version or a latest version, whatever you prefer. If any uh, any uh, error issue occur, then install the given uh, version. Okay. So now for Android, you have to wrote a, write the following code. If if device is Android, then you have to get the latest version number. Okay, so 
going latest version number this uh, you have to uh, copy this uh, this path and the uh, do this a uh, package name here okay so replace your package name here and then or you can copy from the url okay and after that you have to use a http client handler and you, you have to send the api okay so it is url and it you have to send request it will get a response in response uh, it will throw it will give a script so we have to uh, get a version number from the script so you have to use a jurassic nugget so a jurassic nugget will uh, uh, will help you to get a uh, version number okay so in this way you get a version from the of the live uh, live app okay and for the current app that which is installed in your mobile app you can get by using this uh, a nugget for this uh, a nugget will be used zam dot plugin dot latest version this our this nugget will help you to get a uh, install version okay yeah so you have to uh, check that if live version is greater than install version if if it is then you you have to throw that uh, message that uh, update a new version okay another thing if you want to uh, forcefully update okay so this is conditional update means uh, you, uh, you will uh, throw a message okay uh, if a user want to update then it will update so for forcefully update means if a user uh, start a app then it will uh, redirect uh, to the play store if the app is not updated then uh, app will close so for that you have to use a bool value uh, if a, a forcefully update means you have to store in any database or a uh, or a, a static okay so if uh, if a forcefully update true okay so you have to call directly this one okay You have to call directly this one okay or uh, or if uh, if it is not forcefully then you have to write this message box okay so uh, in short you don't have to write this message box if you want to forcefully update if uh, if you don't want forcefully update then you, you have to write this message box okay and now for a uh, ios for ios you have to write in app delegate okay for app delegate in finish launching method you have to call this get less get uh, get latest version uh, method in this you have to uh, call this call this url okay as i told so this is the id okay this is id and container you will get from the url okay now now it will deserialize and it will uh, uh, it will uh, uh, it will help you to get the install version from here okay uh, sorry app version from here okay and you can use the same nugget to get the install version and in this way you can uh, uh, you can uh, get you can update your app on the user mobile okay so if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends thank you